Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. After a lull in launch activities the last few months, SpaceX plans to close out 2021 with a spurt of missions from all three of the company's active launch pads in Florida and California, with five or more Falcon 9 flights planned before the end of the year. SpaceX's next Falcon 9 mission, scheduled November 24th from California, will tie the company's record for the most launches in a calendar year. Another Falcon 9 flight on December the 1st will break the record. The Falcon 9 launch schedule through the end of December currently includes at least five more missions, four from Florida's Space Coast and one from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. There could be more openings for up to two more flights in the jam-packed schedule for the launches carrying Starlink internet satellites. The year began with a rapid-fire cadence of Falcon 9 launches. SpaceX launched 20 Falcon 9 flights in the first half of 2021, an average rate of one launch every nine days. SpaceX's launch rate has slowed in the second half of the year, primarily due to delays in readying a new generation of Starlink satellites, with the new Starlink satellites now rolling out of SpaceX's factory in Redmond, Washington. SpaceX is picking up the pace in the final weeks of 2021. Two Falcon 9 launches last week from Florida carried four astronauts into orbit on the way to the International Space Station and hauled a batch of 53 Starlink Internet satellites into orbit, bringing the total number of Starlink craft launched to 1,844 as SpaceX builds out its privately funded global broadband network. The missions last week brought SpaceX to 25 Falcon 9 launches this year, one shy of the company's mark of 26 Falcon 9 flights in 2020, the most SpaceX missions in a single year. One of the 26 Falcon 9 launches in 2020 was an atmospheric abort test of SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule and did not enter orbit. SpaceX's 26th Falcon 9 launch of the year is scheduled for November 24th at 1.20 a.m. EST from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. That flight will deploy NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, spacecraft on a trajectory to escape Earth and head into the solar system. The DART mission will take aim on an asteroid for a high-speed collision, demonstrating a reflection technique that could be employed in the future against an asteroid on a course to threaten Earth. DART will target the small companion, or moon, of a larger asteroid. DART is humanity's first planetary defense test mission to see if intentionally crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid is an effective way to change its course. Should an Earth-threatening asteroid be discovered in the future, scientists will measure the effects of the impact on the smaller asteroid's orbit around its larger parent body. The DART mission will be the first SpaceX launch with a spacecraft to travel to another object in the solar system, and the third flight of this Falcon 9's first stage booster, which previously supported the launch of Sentinel-6, Michael Freilich, and a Starlink mission. DART's launch will be followed by the next Falcon 9 flight from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station with the next cluster of Starlink satellites. That mission, which will break the record for the most SpaceX Falcon 9 flights in a year, is tentatively scheduled for December the 1st at 1.36 a.m. EST from Pad 40. Next, a pair of NASA astronauts, a veteran and a first-time space flyer, are to venture outside the International Space Station to replace a broken antenna that helps the crew in space communicate with Earth. Thomas Mashburn, 61, and Kayla Barron, 34, will don spacesuits and exit the space station at around 7.10 a.m. EST for some six and a half hours, according to NASA's description. The spacewalk would be Mashburn's fifth and Barron's first. Following this, SpaceX will launch another batch of approximately 53 Starlink satellites atop the Falcon 9 rocket into orbit from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida at 6.20 a.m. EST on December the 1st. Starlink Group 4 to 3 will mark the 31st operational Starlink mission, boosting the total number of Starlink satellites launched to 1,897, of which 1,766 will still be in orbit around the Earth once launched. 
This mission will mark the second launch to the fourth Starlink shell. Roughly 30 launches will be required to fill this shell. The goal of Starlink is to create a network that will help provide internet services to those who are not yet connected and provide reliable and affordable internet across the globe. Next up will be the launch of NASA's Imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer or IXPE, the mission from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. A Falcon 9 rocket is set to launch the X-ray astronomy satellite during a 90-minute window opening at 1 a.m. EST on December the 9th. Unless there are surprise co-passengers, it will be the smallest dedicated payload ever launched by Falcon 9, beating out NASA's 362 kg TESS Exoplanet Observatory. The booster will likely return to Cape Canaveral for a touchdown at a SpaceX landing zone. This astrophysics mission will allow astronomers to discover, for the first time, the hidden details of some of the most exotic astronomical objects in our universe. The IXPE is the first satellite mission dedicated to measuring the polarization of X-rays from a variety of cosmic sources. Polarization is an intrinsic characteristic of light that can vary as it travels through different environments. The mission will fly three space telescopes with sensitive detectors capable of measuring the polarization of cosmic X-rays, allowing scientists to answer fundamental questions about these extremely complex environments where gravitational, electric and magnetic fields are at their limits. Then, SpaceX plans to launch a Turkish communication satellite named TurkSat-5B into geostationary transfer orbit from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral. The 90-minute launch window for the flight opens at 10.58 p.m. EST on December the 18th. TurkSat-5B is a geostationary high-throughput communication satellite built for TurkSat-AS. The satellite will be the first geostationary communication satellite to be built partially in Turkey. It is built on the all-electric Eurostar 3000 EOR bus and will weigh about 4,500 kgs at launch. It provides 15 kilowatts of power at the end of its life and features a KU and KA band high throughput payload with the HTS capacity to exceed 50 gigabytes per second. The final launch of the year from 39A is scheduled for December the 22nd at 5.06 a.m. EST when SpaceX is set to send a Dragon cargo freighter into orbit atop a Falcon 9 rocket on a resupply mission to the International Space Station. That mission will be SpaceX's 24th cargo mission to the orbiting outpost. The Cargo Dragon will deliver a variety of investigations to the space station, including a protein crystal growth study that could improve the delivery of cancer treatment drugs, a handheld bioprinter that will test technology that could one day be used to print tissue directly on wounds to accelerate healing, experiments from students at several universities as part of the Student Payload Opportunity with Citizen Science program and an investigation from the makers of Tide that examines detergent efficacy in microgravity. Cargo resupply by US companies significantly increases NASA's ability to conduct more investigations aboard the orbiting laboratory. Those investigations lead to new technologies, medical treatments and products that improve the lives of people on Earth. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.